Aloha. So I had a follow-up appointment with my surgeon yesterday and he still doesn't know what's going on with my breast. Um, you know, some sort of edema that's, he says he's, you know, he still says he's never seen anything like it. You know, in all the years he's done surgery, it was a simple lumpectomy, one lymph removed, it should not have done what it's doing. Typically with uh, lymphedema, you'll get maybe one area of the breast that gets the, the lymph fluid, but not the whole breast engorged. And so he's just at a loss. Um, I mean, he actually sat in the office and talked to me for much longer than he normally does, which was odd. <laughs> but I had to have a doctor sit with you for 20 minutes these days is kind of odd. But um, my oncol that was my surgeon and my oncologist, I did, I shot her an email last week, I think it was the end of last week, and asked her to refer me to it's what they call an MLD specialist, manual lymphatic drainage. And there's only, I don't know, there are only a couple of them here on the island. And so there's one at a physical therapy place that I found. And so I, I did get the referral and I'm in the middle of setting up an appointment now and so I don't know if she'll be able to give me any new insights. And, you know, and now I'm, you know, after talking to the surgeon yesterday, is this really lymphedema? You know, and I asked him, could it be something else? And he doesn't know what else it could be, if anything. Um, he, it doesn't have the orange peel texture on the skin like it would have if it were, um, what was it, um, in, like inflammatory breast cancer, I think what it, is what it was, but, or other types of lymphedema that usually you get like this puckered orange peel looking thing that has little divots, you know, it looks like an orange peel, which is why they call it orange peel. Um, and I, I actually looked up pictures of it last night on the internet and it looks like orange peel on your skin. Um, but it, my skin is smooth. It doesn't have any of that texture. It's, and you can tell it, it's not like solid, tough. You know, the skin is supple, it's not tough. The, um, it's, it's, you can tell it's fluid in there, It's it's not, anything hard or lumpy I don't know I think I'm going to do more research over the weekend when I have time to sit and actually do research um, I did a little bit last night I still couldn't find anything else I, I keep thinking there's got to be something out there somewhere on the internet this big wide wonderful world of the internet there's got to be something out there and i just can't find it um probably when it's all said and done with and i'll find out that this is something else or it is the lymphedema and then i'll do research on it at some point and find scads of information um, but for some reason, right now, I'm not finding anything. I don't know. It's very frustrating, very scary, because, I mean, my surgeon was talking about uh, reconstructive surgery, which is, uh, you know, I, I, for one thing, I don't want to have surgery again. Oh my God, I've had enough surgeries in my lifetime um, I, but 
You know, when I was heavy, I thought about having breast reconstruction to minimize my breasts because they were so heavy. And now to think that I'll have to have one built up and one partially removed just to make them even, I, God, I don't want to do that. That's like last, you know, that's like the last thing in line. And all I can think is that's like at least a year away. I can't even think that far because I have to go through other options first. I have to see, you know, what else is out there. And the first thing is this MLD, this Manual Lymphatic Drainage Specialist. And it will be interesting to see. I've, I have done some research, which is how I discovered this person. Um, I did some research on the internet and found some YouTubers that do, that they show how to do the lymphatic massage. And you know, it's all of this stuff. Oh, by the way, when I showed my doctor, my surgeon, what the occupational therapist was having me do, just doing, I, I'm so low in the camera, you can't see it, but when just doing the rubbing, I showed him on my breast, and he just gave me this look that said, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> and he said, no, that's not gonna work. <sighs> So it will be interesting to see what she comes up with. But how I got started, you know, how I found her, um, I just happened upon a clip, and I think it's because in my YouTube videos now, I, I do lymphedema as one of my keywords, and um, I've been doing about the lymphedema. And so on the sidebar, one of the videos that came up was a lymphedema video. I clicked on that one, and this woman has other lymphedema videos. And so I found all those and she talks about, she does the, the, the rubbing, but she does it with a dry brush, not with her hand, but with a dry brush. And she does different patterns, not the little circles like I was told. And so, but that's like a small part of it. She also incorporates diet and I'm not sure what else. I, I honestly I haven't watched all the videos. I just haven't had time. And so um, that's another thing I want to do too is watch some more of those videos. And um, as I watch them, if I find that they're helping or there's good advice in them, I will link them into mine and so you can go over if you're having this problem. Um, but she does also talk about lymphedema in the arm and the legs and other parts. Um, I guess lymphedema is just a small part of what she does on her channel. She's uh, like a natural health something. I don't know. I, I'll have to go back and look. And so after I watched a couple of her videos, then I started thinking there's more to this. You know, there's more out there. I just really need to do the research. Nobody else is gonna do it for me. I have to do it. And so I did start doing it. And and I'm gonna to have to do more because nobody else is gonna do it for me. And I'm going to see if, I know I looked into clinical trials before and they all want, you know, if you have lymphedema of the arm, if you have lymphedema of the leg, and there were none that were like any part of your body or definitely none that were your breast and so I'm gonna look further and see if I can find something I'm gonna see if I can find a hospital or a doctor a clinic something that specializes in lymphedema to see if I can get more information you know I just have to do more than hope that somebody comes up with an answer for me because that's not going to happen. I can see the writing on the wall with this one. Nobody is going to give me answers. I'm going to have to go out there and find them. And so that's where I am now. And I wore this shirt again that I never repaired it. I never took up the thing. And I, you know, I saw it hanging on the 
I took it out last night. I always, the night before, I always pull out what I'm gonna wear for work the next day so I don't have to struggle in the morning and stop and think about what I'm gonna wear and then match everything else up to it. I can do it all the night before and then have an easier time in the morning, save myself a few minutes. So it was hanging on the hanger on my door and I looked at it and thought, that is crooked. <laughs> So it's not just me, although I think I am crooked, but it's the shirt. And I think it's one I just got at Ross, so no surprise there that, you know, it's not really sewn right. Um, but yeah, I, I really just need to take in just a little bit, which means getting out the sewing machine. Uh, the days when I used to actually sew um, okay, well, that is it for today. Um, I really just don't have the brain power for much these days. It, things are just like swimming around and going, oh, ironically, I broke a tooth yesterday. I'm still trying to pay Tucker's dental surgery and I broke a tooth. Mm -hmm. So I won't be able to get mine fixed until I get his paid off. And it's a molar. It's like the very, very back tooth on the bottom. And it was one of those things. It's like I put in, um, I was chewing one of my calcium supplements, which are like soft, soft caramel. They're, I mean, it's like, like if you would be chewing a piece of gum. It, it's really nothing. And all of a sudden, there was this crunch. And I thought, you know, oh God, I didn't feel anything, but I thought there was something in the supplement that I had chomped on that, you know, something that wasn't supposed to be there. And I got all kind of freaked out about that and spit it out and then found out it was my tooth. Yeah, so luckily it's not bothering me too much. Um, you know, it's one of those things I have to deal with. It's, it was one of those where I had, had a filling put in years and years and years ago. And if I'm not mistaken, the, I had a filling and then it had to be refilled at some point. So it, this would actually be like a third filling except for the tooth is now all chipped and so they're going to have to take it out and do a, a, not a root canal, a, a cap on it. God. Anyway, yeah, here goes my life. Uh, I, it's like each day there's something else. <laughs> I just find it ironic that I'm still trying to pay off Tucker's tooth surgery, his, you know, for the removal of his teeth, and then my tooth breaks. <sighs> anyway, so we'll see what happens today, tomorrow. <laughs> and if I'm still around, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>